Well, hello everyone. I am Fracture, and this is Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the PC. We're about to go to the upper level of the temple on the Starforge planet and turn off the... Oh, what do they call it? Repulsor beam or tractor beam or whatever beam. The thing that is currently keeping us on the planet, even if we repair our ship. So, let's go through the door. The computer said it would now open for us. And the computer was right. And Jolie, you're up. And you need? Oh, nothing much. Yes? You demand. What? No loot? I need loot. I am short of loot. And upstairs is never a good thing. And let's do a full save. And I think way down, way down. Yeah, we got one, so I'll just save it there. And through the door. Is it worth powering up? Well, I just saved, so if it is worth powering up, I'll come back. All right, this is not going to be as easy as one would hope, I think. Okay, I'm surprised even at this point. I do not remember the exact effort that goes into the Starforge battle that we're rapidly approaching. Now, does anybody, can anybody tell, even from here, you know, even with her clothes on? Good old Bastilla. Hello! How are you? It's been ages. So good to see you. She's a bit paler now. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again. But he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly, Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. No, Bastila. Don't go over to the dark side while well, she's already there. Come back is probably what you should be saying. No, Bastila, don't go over to the dark side. You say that as if the dark side is some terrible entity. The Jedi Council has brainwashed you like all the others, like they once did with me. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared, but in reality their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. But you're such a good kisser. How could you? No, I don't believe it. How could you betray us like this, Bastilla? It's not too late, Bastilla. You can till still turn away from the dark side. It didn't take long to convert you, did it? I always knew you were weak. It's not too late, Bastilla. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. It's been a week. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Yes, well, that's true. Don't be lured by these Sith lies, Bastila. I am Revan the Dark Lord. Bow down before me, Bastila. You have fallen under Malak's control. You must die. Well, no. Sorry. Uh, don't be lured by, in by these Sith lies, Bastila. Lies? You were the one living a lie, Revan. 
The hmm. Jedi Council made you into something you are not. True enough. It programmed you to be their slave. Yes, yes. You used to be Revan, master hmm. of the Sith. Yes. But no longer. Yes. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council True. and the Republic they serve. Uh huh. Like I was. Until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even. But that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side after I prove my worth by killing you. Well, based on what they've said, if you're getting powerful, he's not going to keep you around. I don't know how they have these people follow this part. Well, let's try a stasis from a bunch of us. It's always a bit of a... well, disengage. Don't attack right away. There you go. It's always a bit of a guess, should I go for the stasis field? I really think all three are going to fail. Or should I immediately go for speed? What is the force fight? Oh, son of a gun. Well, we'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do that. What? It's with me! And away we go. Nice, ah. you got it. There we go. That was quick. You were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. Uh, let's see, I draw my power from the light now, Bastila. Don't call me that. I am not Revan anymore. I am Garrick Garic Khan now. Now you see the power of the true Dark Lord. I've never tried that. I wonder what would happen if you suddenly switched like that. I draw my power from the light now, Bastila. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. Well, sort I of. I know the truth. Mm -hmm. I've seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. Ah, that is how I know you will come back to the light. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, I'm no tool. as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who follow the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Learn from my mistakes. It is not too late to come back to the light. What are you saying, Bastila? If I am so powerful, then why do you serve another master? Uh, this be I'm curious what she is saying. But we'll say, learn from my mistakes. It is not too late to come back to the light. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. I am not Revan anymore. I don't even remember those days. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power... Your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. Yes, together we can rule the galaxy. How do I know you won't betray me? Ah, yeah, well, we'll stick on the straight and narrow path. Turn away from this path, Bastila. The dark side leads only to destruction. Bastila, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. Ooh, that's you know true. nothing of the Force or its true potential. But Zing. you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. The Dark Lord Revan is dead. I am a servant of the light now. Oh, this is getting way too religious. Uh, yes, together we can rule the galaxy. How do you know you won't betray me? I don't trust you. I'll just kill you instead. Oh, well, the only choice. Would you like to read this pamphlet about the true servant of the light? 
The Dark Lord Revan is dead. I am a servant of the light now. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. Run away! Flee! She did. All right. And look, a computator. Anything else? Nope, just this. Shut down the planetary disruptor field. That's what it's called. Shut down the temple energy field and log out. All right, we may now leave. Uh, sure. Warp speed, Mr. Scott. That's funny, sometimes Warp speed is reset when you go through doors. Other times, it gets stuck, enabled. Well, such is the way of bugs, I suppose. Ah, friends aren't here, and their camp site is gone. Well, back to the ship. Uh, no, there's a... No point in using this immediately. Oh, am I going down the wrong one? I think I am. One of them leads to the temple, which actually, um, let's go there and talk with them and see what they say. I don't think they say anything, because what we've said we would do is destroy the Star Forge, and really all we've done so far is turned off the power. So this probably will gain us nothing. Oh, I, I, never mind, I used the right one after all. <laughs> that all that rambling, I was going to go to the other place where the elders were and see if they had anything new to say. Uh, actually disengage. Let's do this. Yes. And this. Your and wish. And this. What? I still got it. I still got it. Oh, somebody's throwing their lightsaber around. Alright, so I think we have everything we need. We found the ship parts. Here we go. Cutscene time. You're back. But where's Bastila? I is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Questions, questions. Bastila has fallen to the dark side. She fled to the Star Forge. Bastila is dead, Karth. Malak killed her. Well, that's sort of the answer along the lines of uh, Darth Vader, of course. You know. Darth Vader killed your father. Uh, no time. We have to get off the planet and save the Star uh, save the Star Forge to destroy the Star Forge. Bastila has fallen to the dark side. She fled to the Star Forge. The dark side? Bastila? No. no! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. She can still be saved, can't she? I can't help but feel this is partly my fault. Malak corrupted Bastila because she was weak. Bastila is lost to us now. She deserves to die. She can still be saved, can't she? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence especially considering her long association with you. 
Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Basila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. Uh, we can try, and we will. They took the whole Jedi Council and a mind wipe to save me. What chance does she have? We can try, and we will. I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Starforge. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. Indeed. Somebody's thinking. With these ship parts, you may be able to repair the Ebonhawk's hyperdrive. I thought it was the stabler stabilizers that had failed. However, it suddenly explains the need for this room.